Okay, so um, may I ask if my screen is visible on your end? Please to confirm if yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma thank, thank you very much. So let's start our discussion with the prayer. So may may I ask um, Efren, please lead the prayer. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, follow by your name, your kingdom come, the world be done, the earth. We have to say, we celebrate, we have to say. In the name of Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let our teacher who are the minister say our life what is trying to time. Let our country and the people who continue fighting to stop the pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. <coughs> we ask your memory. So that we might understand and what we are going to study now. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay, so um, last meeting on um i we've already discussed about the certain theories under module one part two so now we will need to continue our discussion so we've already discussed about uh edwin sutherland and his contribution we've also discussed the contribution of sigmund freud but before formally uh uh proceeding to our dis discussion may i ask if naabamoy clarifications regarding our discussion and the video that I have shared in our Google Classroom, uploaded rather in the Google Classroom. Naabay mga clarifications ato? Naaba? Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes, good afternoon, Asmodo. So do you have any questions, clarifications before tamo proceed? Okay, Raan Tanen? Claro ra? Okay na ma'am. Okay, okay na. Okay, na. okay. Okay, na right. okay, thank you for confirming. Just for in case on the later part, you realize that you do have some questions or clarifications, please do not hesitate. Thank you. Uy, si Habagat naka-black. Ma'am, nagpa-signal ako ma'am. Sorry ma'am. Okay na, okay na, okay na. Okay, so we're done with the contribution of Edwin Sutherland, particularly on the differential association theory. Usaga ito giingon ni Edwin Sutherland. He mentioned nga ang criminal behaviors kuno are learned behaviors. So based on the dot or the association, a differential association theory, according to Edwin Sutherland, nga ang pagway kuno of learning the behavior is through association, through actual interaction. Meaning to say, mo appeal ka sa grupo mismo, ang imuhang pag-appeal, pag-associate to them, okay, in a certain group or gang, or, or probably in a, what's this, living in an area where in uh, crimes, prostitution, use of dangerous drugs, uh, gambling are very rampant. So through association with this kind of culture, with this kind of place, with this kind of group of people, makalearn kuno ka sa behavior. Okay? So aside from... So aside from the contribution of Edwin Sutherland, 
we do have also the contribution of Emil Durkheim. So particularly, he, he originally developed the Anomi theory. So in his book, Durkheim indicated that the rules of how individuals interact with one another were disintegrating and therefore people were unable to determine how to act with one another. So as a consequence, Dorkim believed that the anomi was a state where expectations of behavior are unclear and the system has broken down. So this is known as normlessness. Okay? So Dorkim claimed that this normlessness is caused by deviant behavior. Okay? In criminology, the idea of anomi is that people chooses criminality activity or criminal activity because individuals believe that there is no reason not to engage in a criminal activity. So now, let us uh, look for more information para mas masabta na itong pagmaayo. Unsa nga dyan ng anomi? Okay, so basically, atong dimension kanina, now when you say anomi, it refers to the concept of normlessness. So let us look at the origin of the word anomi. So an anomi is a rebarrowing word with French spelling of anomi. So it originally derived from the Greek word anomia. Namely, uh, it means it means normlessness. Okay, or not following on the standard set by the society or or performance or, or manifestation of a certain behavior that is against the law. Okay, muna siya buot pasabot kada. Another thing, Okay. So another thing, when you say anomi, as emphasized by Emil Dorkim, he mentioned that it reflects a sense of normlessness, the lack of any societal norms that spurs the tendency to act in a deviant way. So in general, the Dorkim's theory on anomi proposes that because of industrialization and the need to cheap labor in this newly born society there is an influx of immigrants okay which resulted to the emergence of group of people so usa may ma'am yung ma'am usa on man ato i admit sa request me pangutan na mo na ko ma'am usa on man ato pag apply ning concept of anomi unsa man gyud ni siya okay when you say uh, anomi from the word itself, normlessness or lawlessness, meaning to say that the crime in the society is excessive. Excessive in a sense na the government, the law enforcement organization, cannot even control. I will give you a very good example na nahitabu ni anomi or normlessness in certain regions in the Philippines. A very good example for that is katong Marawi, Marawi, Ah, Excuse Marawi. me, ma'am. Yes? Nawala yung kwan, ma'am, share screen. Ah, okay. Tisa, wait, sa. Nawala? Okay. Uh, Rishon present. Okay ka na? Okay na? Yes, ma'am. Okay, na. okay, thank you. Okay. A very good, di ba, niyong ko ganina, that the concept, we can say if a certain state is experiencing the concept of anomi if there is already an excessive crime. Excessive crime in a sense that the government is, is kind of having difficulty in controlling this situation. Okay. So, maunang kasagaran, ang buhat sa usaka state or the president of a certain state is mo declare of martial law. In fact, a very good example for that is the siege of Marawi. Nakainong doon pamato? Yes, ma'am. Ito ma ma'am. Marawi siege ba? Diba? Yes, ma'am. Ma 
Yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you for confirming. So, usama to yung nahita buato. Our government, okay, our government, particularly in Marawi, struggled a lot against terrorism. Una ato, si Duterte was calling the Maoti groups as terrorists. And then many would even say, di pa mga good sila terrorists simply because they have no, um, what's this, kind of affiliation to the other, the other act itself is not international. But later on, ila di itong dibuhat nga nag, Meaning, attack sila sa Marawi, kaya they're getting the, the sympathy that they want to be part of Marawi to make the story, ay Marawi, part of ISIS. So, to make the story short, along the way, they were acknowledged by the ISIS na member na sila. So, naiitabo, naimo sila bauti ISIS group, correct? So, kung saan ito yung naiitabo, President... Like Marshall Rodrigo, Omar? Correct, that is correct. So, President Trudy could Duterte, during his press release, he mentioned that there is a state of lawlessness in Mindanao. So in order to control the situation, he decided to declare martial law in Mindanao, allowing him to attack, allowing the government to use arm in order to control the situation and to get Marawi back to the Philippine government. So it took, pila ganito, it took five months armed conflict in Marawi. In fact, luwi kayo ito kaayo kay there were six a lot months, of buildings. Six months, six months, I think. Uh, six, oh, na, na, eh, so tinig ko ba nyo yan? Eh, abot yung almost six months ko, no? So yun na ba, five to six months, too very good siya kaayo. In fact, ka, ka, pait nga itong situation, simply because, no, the older, what's this, properties, it, it was not only property ang na-damage, there were a lot of people na sacrifice nila ang ila, na sacrifice nila ang life. Not only sa life sa mga innocent people, but also sacrifices made by our heroes. No, who died during the armed conflict. Specifically, members of the armed forces of the Philippines, members of the elite group of the Philippine National Police, Ingon Anna. So, moto, nabalik na to ang Philippines. So in ana kapait if there is a state of normlessness. I will give you another good example. For sure mahilig mo ni Glantong nga salida. Kay nung do mo tong salidang purge, do you still remember? Katong salida yes, nga purge. Yes, okay. Diba they were given in fact it was even mentioned as an example by Cadet Aiko. Nga sa sa movie itself nga purge, makita nato that there is a state of lawlessness or normlessness in that specific span of time. Kaya nga naman, people were given the opportunity to kill. People were given the, the opportunity no, to revenge. In fact, even it, it was even featured sa ubang seasons ato that even kanang ilahang family members, ilang husband, ilang hapong di pamatay, and that was considered as legal. During, it was considered as okay during the purge time. So purge is also an example of a state of lawlessness. So you need to be very happy kay though it is true nga naara dya crime in the Philippines because remember, crime is a societal creation. Meaning to say, it cannot be eradicated. Di ko na siya mawala. But it can be minimized. Okay? Di ko sa pag-minimize by doing some crime prevention measures and crime prevention strategies. A very good example for that is ang atuang mga police is they are constantly conducting patrol. All sorts of patrol method like foot patrol, kabante mo ng mga police maglakaw-lakaw. That is what we call foot patrol. Napuyuban, magsakay sila og motor. That is what we call motorcycle patrol. Napuyuban, they will use a four-wheel vehicle, that is what we call automobile patrol. Sa mga dagkong areas, they're using helicopter, that is what we call heli patrol. But then again, helicopter patrol is not applicable here in Dumaguete because ang Dumaguete is very small. Kung katuyo ka na ni Mos Dumaguete, wapayos ka adlaw, purot na ni Mugtuyok ng Dumaguete. Correct? So that is the reason why helicopter, 
heli patrol is not an ideal form of patrol diri sa Philippines. Kana magamit og bike, for sure nakita na ninyo. No, they're using their their type B uniform, their patrol shirts. Okay, the form of patrol that they're doing is what we call bicycle patrol. Then in areas of kuan kanang sa Ifugao, okay? Nagamit sila og what's this? Kabayo. That is what we call horse patrol. Yes, in other countries, gamit kayong horse patrol, but tricky sa Pilipinas, not so. The most common is, again, the helicopter, ah, hiling na lamang, the motorcycle, the automobile, the foot patrol, okay, and the other one is the automobile patrol. So those were, those are the common uh, forms of patrol uh, utilized by our PNP organization. Any questions about the Anomi theory? Any clarifications? Any Hello, questions? Yes. Ma yes, Charlie. Hello, tourist police, ma'am. Ma yes, come again. What's your question on the tourist police? Uh, police, niya mo siyang sakuan, ma'am. Sa tourist, sarana siya, ma'am. Okay, that is a very good question. Ang ato ang tourist police officers, they are member of the tourist police unit because ang PNP organization magud nato is composed of several units. Okay, units in the PNP organization. Akan magong units ang PNP organization magud. Okay, to name. Okay, makita ba? Let's check. Kung ayo pang uta naman, polis ka po na sila. Yes, the answer is yes. Okay, again, as what I have mentioned, there are different units magud ang PNP organization na to. Okay. So, particularly... Yes, pani ka lang na. Sige. Ja, alayong po po banday. sa gamera. Ano man? Oh. Is Is a little the high please please give me 3 minutes. Gamera jud kayo. Thank you. Okay ma'am. Yes ma'am. Ayun si Tabi kay report ta. Thank you. Okay ma'am. Okay ma'am. Okay ma'am. Hi. Okay ra nito ora siya. All right, so let's continue. So there are different, what's this? There are many forms of operational unit ang ato ang PNP organization. Wait, sa ha? Okay. Kani, 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 kani. So, naatay gitawag ng maritime group. So, uh, ang PNP organization also, what's this? Also uh, provides a separate quota for the maritime police. So, usa may trabaho sa atong maritime police. Their their scope is ang ato ang Philippine territorial waters, lakes and rivers. So, they work along with our coast guard. Okay, another na po tay IG or the intelligence group. Na po tay o oh, kung ganaha mo mahimong human bullet proof for the president. Okay kayo. Police Security and Protection Group or the so-called PS PG. So sa panahon nga na ay mo attack ni President Rodrigo Duterte, palayo simba ko. Okay. So kamo mo oy mo protect ni President or kung kinsa pa na mahimong President. Including you will also serve as the post in bodyguard or PSG of other government officials, mga visiting dignitaries, mga private individuals that requires uh, this kind of level of protection. Naaputay lain pang group if you like. CIDG, okay? Or the Criminal Investigation and Protection Group. So normally, the, their main focus is to prosecute all crimes involving economic sabotage. Okay. Like one, ma'am. Uh, uh, excuse me. Like, yes, yes. Like ang PDEA, ma'am, belong na belong ya po ng PDEA ang ang akuan, ma'am. No, no, no. no. Dile, dile. Ang ah. PDEA is a separate organization. It is still it is still an example of a law enforcement organization, but it is not under 
the PNP. So in short, your PNP and your PDEA are two different law enforcement organizations. To be specific, your PDEA is under the supervision or office of the president while while okay while your pnp organization this is under the control and the administration of the napocom under republic act 8551 question so lahi ang police lahi po ang pdea that is the very reason why nihingon ko ninyo from the very beginning that our ra 6975, okay, our RA 6975 gave birth to the Tribunal of the Philippines, the PNP, the BJMP, and the PFP. Probably your next question is, Ma'am, double ba po ang sweldo sa kuan? PDEA agent? The answer is no. But their increase is staggered. Okay, by tranches ang ilahang increase in ang salary. So, uh, pila katuig na lang, Ma'am, udako na po pag maayong ilahang sweldo. Okay, so sure jo ko nga muna isunod ninyong pangutana. Kani Okay, okay, kilap-kilap. All right. So aside from the CIDG, okay, ilang main focus again about uh prosecution investigation of economic sabotage, tanang crimes that is related to economic sabotage, tanang crimes that involves mga criminal syndicates, mga criminal organizations under na Another thing is you do have your staff, okay? Same as your maritime group, the SAP also provides a separate quota. So, kana mga play mo police, makabalo da yun mo kung asa na siya nga klase nga quota. Is it for the regular quota or is it for SAP? Is it for uh, is it for SWAT? Is it for maritime group? Okay, ipakita din na nila. Then another is kani evasion security group. So, they provide security in airports. Ang Highway Patrol Group, inyo, sige, click yan. Or HPG. Oh, they focus more on enforcement of laws sa traffic. Then another is Police Community Relations. So, it focuses on partnership, okay, with the community. You do have also your Civil Security Group. Okay, you do have also your Crime Lab. Okay, your PNP, anti-kidnapping group, and your PNP cyber crime group. Okay, so these are the major, what's this, operational unit in the PNP organization. All right, questions, clarifications do you have? So, kung saan yung gustong, kung saan yung sud, gustong sudlan na unit sa PNP, ganahan mo sa, lindot kayo na. Ma'am, permission to speak. Yes, Orong, what's your question? Kanang autopsy, ma'am, asa na siya na belong sa organization sa police? Organization or unit? Or unit. Okay, that is a very good question. Your, the conduct of an autopsy that is under your crime lab. But then again, the only uh, person who can conduct an autopsy should be a medical legal doctor. Again, not all doctors are medical legal doctors. Okay, ma'am, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So even the fingerprint examination. Permission to speak, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. So, yun, what's your question? Like ang kuan, ma'am, ang NBI, ma'am. Asan nga bilong nga uh, unit, ma'am? Sa law enforcement, yapon sa ma'am ang NBI. Okay, that is a very good question. Same as my answer with PDEA, your PDEA, your NBI, these are all examples of law enforcement organization. Pero they are different organization from the PNP. Remember that we do have different types of law enforcement organization. Not IPNP, not IPDEA, not IPNBI, not I Coast Guard. Mm. Diba? So on and so forth. So these are all law enforcement agencies, pero different ang ilahang scope. Mostly of this law enforcement agency, particularly ang PDEA, ang, ang, yes, particularly ang PDEA, particularly ang Coast Guard, these are two examples of law enforcement agency na very specific ang ilang jurisdiction. When I say specific jurisdiction, meaning to say they can only enforce laws that are kumpidea, related to drugs. Kung may ka Coast Guard, related to the Philippine water. Yes, Lawrence, what's your question? 
wala. Okay. How about the others? Uh, any question about Anomi or the additional discussion that I have made? Any clarifications or additional input? All right. Sige. I think wala na. Floretta. Floretta. Question game. Do you have? Can I BFP, ma'am? Okay, that is a very good question also. BFP is a different organization. So they can only implement um, laws that is related to the in terms of building permit, in terms with arson law, and in terms with the response to fire. But you need to remember that our BFP, their job is not only to respond if there are fire, pero if there are also mga calamities. Like another good example, if there are also human crises, na aroy ibutang na to palayo, simbako, inyong silingan, ni katkat dito sa puste, kaya mo ambak, magpakamatay siya. So ang best game, usa sa best uh, organization that you need to notify in this kind of mga human crisis situation, it should be the BFP because they are also trained for that. Sa gawas gani, even ka nang ilahang mga iro kaysa gawas ba? Sa gawas, there are animal lovers here in the Philippines, not so. Because majority, if they will see dog, himuon nilang sudan. Diba, inana? Nangatawa sila, nakakaon dyan ng iro. O, klaro ayaw. So, inana ba? In other countries, don't you know, sa panahon nga, if the life of the poan, for example, ilaharong, ilaharong pet, nisa ka niya, madlok silang maatak, normally, they will call 911 and 911 magpadala dayon. O, uh, what's this? Kanabang tag-a-fire. Kinaman sila yung ladder. Dinapot sila yung net. So they are the best organization. So again, these are this is also an organization, but then again, ang ilahang span or jurisdiction is limited lang. Unlike the PNP that is considered as the prime mover of laws. Kaya nga naman, very general ang ilahang trabaho. Okay, general in a sense nga, they can, if, if their assistance is being asked by LTO, sa panahon sa checkpoint, nga taga LTO, pwede po silang naa. Ah, kabantay mo? Because their job is very, what's this, very general in nature. They can implement any form of, any laws or orders as long as they are asked to. As long as such order is not in violation to the human rights or not in violation to the Philippine law. Another good example na ipatawag ang PNP is sa panahon ng Oplan Double Barrel and Oplan Tokhang. Diba, Norma, we have mentioned earlier nga, I have mentioned earlier nga, ang trabaho sa PDEA is that their main focus is to enforce all laws related to dangerous drugs. Yung mo, ano mo, ma'am, yung anong ang nag-implement mo, naging mga pulis naging. This is the question. As what I have mentioned, ah, this is the answer. As what I have mentioned, the Kuan Mangod, the PNP organization has a general jurisdiction. As long as they're asked to, to, to implement, ilago na yung trabaho. Oy. And remember that the main focus of PDEA, though it is true, the enforcement of all laws regarding drugs, but then again, ang ilahang main focus is add to sila sa mga drug lord, drug baron, dili pwede sila sa barangay level. Kaya kung mingugit yung barangay level, then ilahang identity will be born out. So, kung saan pa nila pag effectively, no, apprehend sa mga drug ko, ng mga drug syndicate, sa mga drug lord, if their identity are already known to everybody. One ang enforcement of laws regarding drugs, in the barangay level, it is done by the PNP. Okay? Napay pangota na? Ma'am, permission to speak, ma'am. Yes, John Ray, what's your question? Ang LTO, ma'am, part na sa PNP? Come again, what's your question? Ang LTO ba, ma'am, part na sa, PN, uh, sa PNP? No, it is not part of the PNP. Your uh, land transportation office is a separate organization. It is a separate office. It has a specific jurisdiction. Ang ilahang trabaho is specifically to enforce laws regarding sa kuan sa traffic, okay, regarding land transportation. So muna makita ninyo nga ang PNP o LTO sa panahon ng inspection, sa panahon ng checkpoint, both of the organizations are present because the 
LTO is asking for the assistance sa police. Punta kong giingon nyo nga, very general kayo ang trabaho sa police. Question? Did I answer your question, Asmolo? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you very much. So, let us continue. Okay, now let's proceed with the imitation suggestion theory, which was uh, developed by Gabriel Tarde. So, this theory states that delinquency and criminal matters are learned and being adopted. The learning process may either be consciously done through imitation or copying, or it could be unconsciously done by suggestion of confronting pattern behavior. So, unsa kalainan between Tardes imitation suggestion theory to Emil Dworkin's differential association theory. Uh, before ta magiskot o dissimilarities, let's focus first on the similarity. Both Edwin Sutherland and Tarde, niingon sila that criminal behaviors are learned. Pero, in Edwin Sutherland, he mentioned that in order to learn certain behavior, you need to associate with a group. You need to interact with a group. However, niingon si Tarde, yes, it is true. Criminal behaviors are learned behavior. Pero ang giingon ni Tarde, dili kinahanglan na mo associate ka. Kaya he mentioned that through imitation, makalearn o maka-adapt ka sa behavior. I will give you a very good example. Pumulantaw ka o lupin na movie, or for example, any type of movie, na gitudluan ka unsa saan pagpangawat, gitudluan ka unsa saan pag-abri o book, gitudluan ka how to commit murder without leaving any possible pieces of evidence that will somehow connect you with the crime scene. So sa imong paglantaw, ay, inaniyon din ipagpatay, ay, inaniyon din ipagpangawat, ay, inaniyon din pag-abri o O vote, so on and so forth. So if you will learn from it and adopt a certain behavior, therefore, you are already learning the criminal behavior. Pinaagi sa imitation. I will give you another good example. The, while watching the Dukuan news sa TV Patrol or sa GMA or sa TV5 para wala yung maglagot nila. Tanan dimension. Okay? Ya pagkauman, what was featured in, in the news was that about sa modus operandi of the martilyo gang. That whenever they commit robbery, they will always use the martilyo. Ya pagkauman, muna ka, ay, inaniun di ay ni. So, to make the story short, you decided to commit robbery also by using, by using a martilyo. Do you get my point? So, you're learning criminal behavior or a deviant behavior through imitation. Another good example, another good example, nag implementation of ECQ. Okay? The only sa ECQ, yes, you can have, you can have, you can celebrate your birthday, but you should celebrate it with your immediate family. Dili kay ang parinti sa parinti, sa kaparintian, o silingan sa kasilingan, silinganan, imong imbitaron. Dili na pwede because i-avoid na to ang emergence of people para wala idagang magka-COVID pala yung simba ko. Okay. So, diba? Muna, usa sa mga giingon sa during the implementation of ECQ. Pagka human, imong silingan, si Tapulana, na birthday, giimbitar niya ang tanan niyang amigo, iyang tanang parinti, o parinti siyang mga kaila na nga to. So, in short, dagang tabo. E pagka human, imong kaila, ah, pwede na di ay ni. Ya kay imong birthday, Sunod si Mana man. So what you did, you decided to imitate the same. Ay, gibuhat gani ni Kuan. Gibuhat gani ni Tapulana. So ako po, mag ko, I will invite. Tanan na kung gusto niyong invite. Do you see? Muna siya thought sa ato ang imitation suggestion theory. That you learn certain criminal behavior. That you learn certain deviant behavior. Not directly by associating. But by simply looking. But Simply adopting, simply imitating certain behavior. Telling yourself, it's okay. Question? Ay, wala na lang. 
Questions, clarifications, do you have? No, ma'am. Nanjapun, okay. So, let's continue. So, next, let's have the work of Selen. Usama yang gingingon. He, uh, he created the conflict cultural theory, which states or asserts that the, multiplic uh, the multiplicity of incompatible cultures is the main source of this organization. Okay. Wait, sir. So, in short, your culture, conflict theory, talks about the conflict of culture, the conflict of values. Muna siya example of a culture conflict theory. So, this is a type of theory that happens when various values, beliefs among different culture clashes. So, there are two types of no, conflict. No. It could be primary and it could be secondary. A very good example. Wait, what example? Tari? Mm. Like a patronata, please turn it off. Okay. All right, sige. Sige, additional information. Conflict theorists or supporters of the conflict culture theory view social structure as inherently unequal. So based on power differential related issues like class. Asa maka na appeal nga class? Is it on the upper status mga dato? Mga powerful or is it on the lower class? Or is it on the middle? So race, gender, and the age. For a conflict theorist, culture is seen as reinforcing issue of privilege of certain groups based upon the race, the sex, the class, the ideological belief, the religious belief, so on and so forth. The very common no, issue that causes culture conflict is issue on abortion. Kainom dama. Issue on abortion. Kaya naman. There are certain groups, nga naingon sila, kinahanglan illegalize ang abortion sa Pilipinas. Nga naman, in order to minimize teenage pregnancy, in order to minimize kanabang uh, rate of, of young women, teenagers, nga mahimo silang mother at a very young age. Other groups also, may ingon sila, no, abortion should never be legalized in the Philippines. Nga naman, because we are usaman a catholic na nation majority correct majority of our population is is what's this uh is a roman catholic and we will put sila nga under sa democracy and yes and we will put sila nga ang abortion is against the divine law so on and so forth so in that given um scenario makita nato that there is already culture conflict because others believe that abortion should be legalized and others believe also that it should never be legalized another good issue which causes conflict okay which causes conflict in terms with our values issue on death penalty victims of heinous crimes family of the victim children who were raped women who were murdered men who were murdered, so on and so forth. May ngun sila and other mga politicians, may ngun sila nga, ang death penalty should be re-implemented sa Pilipinas. May ngun. Then another group na po may ngun sila, no, death penalty should not be re-implemented kay Gagikan na Taana. It did not help. The only way is to reform and rehabilitate the person. Mubalik na po ng ngun tong mga victims and family of the victims? No! Yan naman, sa ilang pagpatay o pag sa kung anak, mabalik ba ang kinabuhi? Mabalik ba? So on and so forth. So makita ni Ana nga, grabe kaayo ang culture conflict. So muna idea sa itong culture conflict theory na because of our race, because of our religion, because of our class, because of our ideology, because of our values, it somehow 
creates conflict. Questions, clarifications? Clarification, ma'am. Yes, yes. Kulo yun. Di ba, di ba ang nagpa-stop sa, sa kutong RE, ma'am? Nagpa-stop sa death penalty. Ah, uh, itong death penalty, ma'am, si Pre President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Yes, yes, that is correct. Do, the death penalty, uh, the, the, what's this, prohibition of the imposition of death penalty was done during the administration of the former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. That is correct, though. Yes, what's your additional information or questions, Kadet Kaluyon? Nothing, ma'am. Maura to, ma'am. Ako lang i-clarify, ma'am. Bakit naka, nakabasa ko na, nakabasa ko na uh, code, ma'am, before? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Actually, your information is correct. So, how about the others? Questions? Clarifications? Wala? Okay, so let's continue. Now, let's talk about the contribution of Alphonse Bertillon. So, ang IA is the Bertillonage theory or Alphonse Bertillon uh, theory. So, he is a French law enforcement officer and a biometrics researcher who formulated, who formulated, sorry, who formulated the anthropometry system. So, an identification system which is based on the physical measurement of the person. It was first a systematic scientific system police use in terms with the establishment of the identity of the criminal. Kaya naitabo mang good ani. Sa unang panahon, wala mang good tagagamit o fingerprint as a means of establishing the identity of the person. Ang gigamit nato sa una is the Bertillonage system, also known as anthropometry system, or the 11 body measurement. Okay, fingerprint. But in the contemporary setup, our means of establishing the identity of the person is through his fingerprint. Kaya matod pa, even if magkapariha ta o major classification, but in terms with, okay, in terms with the preliminary classification, dili ko ta pariha. Bisan pa o kaluha, dili pariha. And according to, uh, according to research, na ang fingerprint nato does not change. Nag-form siya so good na atastiyan. Hangtod yung panganak na. Hangtod ng uyab na lamang mo. Hangtod na minyo mo. Mamatay mo. Your fingerprint is still the same. Except if the composition settles in. As what I mentioned earlier, prior to the utilization of fingerprint in establishing our identity, okay, ang gigamit is the anthropometry system. So, your uh, as what I mentioned, your Alphonse Bertillon system or the Bertillon system uh, body measurement utilizes 11 body measurement. And ingon si Bertillon nga, pili kuno mahimo, ingon siya, ingon siya, nga, imposible kuno nga ang, ang usa dua or tulo ka tao or even kaluha magkapariya o body measurement kay unique kuno na nato according to Bertillon so giyon sa niya pag measure giyon sa niya pag measure he measured the head the length of the head okay the length of the middle finger middle finger the length of the left foot the length of the kuan the cubit or the forearm from elbow to extremity of the middle finger so again, in short, the Ashai 11 body measurement. To make the story short, it was found out nga possibly the eye nga na ay magkapariya o body measurement. So in addition for that, katong na discover na nga possibly the eye magkapariya o body measurement, it was found out that there were a lot of false arrests made by the law enforcement made by the law enforcement i'm sorry made by the law enforcement agency kay nga no man possibly kuno kaayo so there were a lot of false 
arrest conducted. Then later on, ang naitabo is kailisan siya o use of fingerprint. So until now, we are still using the fingerprint as a means of establishing our identity. And until now, there are still people who are skeptical na may nga sila posible. Pinood man, posible magkapariyag fingerprint. Pero ang possibility is almost too impossible. Ang iyahang rate. Kaya nga naman, the possibility nga magkapariyag fingerprint is zero. Point. Zero. 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 Talagang zero. One percent. So imagine na, zero point, zero, 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 zero. Lagka ng zero. One percent. In ana akagamay. Kanipis. Mura na ginyuhang relasyon. Murag kamong, pero murag dili. Okay? So, inunana ba? So, inana kalis, kalisod ang chances na magkapariya. So, for those who are skeptical, sige sa pangita o way na mo ingun dyan sila nga, nga ang fingerprint, posible nga magkapariya ang usang atawo. But until now, ni abot na lang tao, 2001. Mo 2022 na lamang ta, wala pa siya na proof. That is the reason why, until now, we are still using fingerprint as a means of establishing the identity of the person. That is why sa crime scene processing, sa crime scene analysis, our okay, our fingerprint technicians are very careful in lifting Latin prints from the crime scene. Kaya ano man, gamit kayo in establishing the identity of the perpetrator. Kaya kung nasa na yung makuha Ma'am, permission to speak, ma'am. Yes, ha. Okay, yes, ha. Kaya kung if nasa na yung makuha ng fingerprint from the the crime scene itself, ilaman at imatch sa ilahang primary suspect. So if it is found na lahi ang fingerprint niya, dili pariya sa primary suspect, dili put sa victim, dili put sa mga put pasabot, they do have the wrong person. So inani ka importante ang ato ang fingerprint. Yes, kada yuna. What's your question? Ma'am, dili na kasulod si Joel ni Joy Ma'am kay inay connection ka travel siya, Ma'am. Ah, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Ma'am, permission to speak, ma'am? Yes, Urong. What's your question? What if, ma'am, di ba, as I said, ay kwan ni mo, base ni mo nga giingon, is lahit tag fingerprints. What if the offender or the victim, ma'am, wala siya na kuan ba, na register sa Comelec, di ba, sa Comelec, raman guru na siya mga kuan, ma'am? Kung saan, to um, saan pag-identify ang victim or criminal ma'am nga wala siya na registered dito? Okay, that is a very good question. The problem here in the Philippines, mga good, muna siya usa sa problema sa Pilipinas, no? Dili, wala, wala tayo balaod na require ang tanan ng kuwaan o fingerprint o footprint gikan sa pagpanganak. That's the problem. Muna, ang may tabo, if the person, o pa siya kaskwa, o sulay, o police clearance, o NBI clearance, wala ko na siya record. Do you get my point? Dili pa rin sa gawas nga. It is, no? There is a policy, there is a law. Ang kinahanglan, tanang tao, makuhaan dyan sila o data sa ilahang fingerprint. But in the Philippines, it was proposed. But until now, wala. May violation ko, no? Sa right ko, no? Sa tao. So on and so forth. So it creates a problem also on the part of our NBI and the police. Muna, ang buhaton na lamang Just for in case, wala na wala na record ang iyahang fingerprint sa database sa NBI or sa PNP. Wala nga buhat to. Is ko ang dyan siya o fingerprint. And if a Latin print is lifted from the crime scene, ang buhat to anak ko is i-match ko na siya. Whether the fingerprint from the crime scene o ang fingerprint niya is match ba or dili. If it is match, meaning to say, you do have the correct person. But kung dili, na ay possible kung i-compare po siya nimo sa sa victim dinito sa victim but pa sa bot nga sayop ang tao nga naa or possibly na apay laing perpetrator of the crime scene what if mom um ang petan nasa crime scene is kanang quiet siya ba mam nga wala wala tao in ana what if ni migrate ang offender mam nga wala to siya nakuan ba na Ang sani, dito, wala na-register siya sa Comelec. Ang saan pag-identify? What do you mean, if I great? Pwede di, in, 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 so ma'am, so. Okay. What do you mean, Tisa? What do you mean by my great? Asa ma siya, ni my great sa laing lugar? Yes, ma'am. What I mean is, kanang, what 
um, na hitabo siya ma'am sa mga quiet places then mm. kaya na matay ang victim then ang perpetrator mamula siya na bali o ginsa to siya ba yun ni migrate siya at that time ma'am so unsa ang pagkuan nga wala Ay, na okay. Oh. okay 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 get sana ko ani mga good na siya in crime scene investigation and also in crime scene analysis ang may tabu mga good na is the means of connecting the perpetrator from the crime scene, it is not only through fingerprint lang, but there are also other uh, possible physical evidence that may be associated. Like, a good example is katong gilingo ni Avelino is the use of DNA. So we do have a lot of sources of DNA, like your blood, like your hair, sometimes put saliva, and even the semen if they are considered as secretors. Pero again, Talagsaon ra kay na kay very gamay ra ang percentage sa secretors. Yun, ana. So these are the common sources of the DNA. So if ever the fingerprint, if ever ha, kabalo siya nga para di siya ma-associate is nagamit siya gloves. So wala siya kayo makita ang fingerprint. Example lang. So the investigator and the crime scene, um, the group of the uh, from the crime lab or the SOCO team itself who process the crime scene, ilang po nang nagkawin, if naabay laing trace evidence that can be associated to the person. Okay, para, even if ni migrate na siya, they can still, what's this, um, ask for a warrant of arrest para if ever may balik siya sa Pilipinas, na na siya is ang game warrant. Or if there, yeah, is a, if there is a treaty between Philippines and that specific country, they can even call the law enforcement agency and still arrest the person. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, thank you. Kadat uro. So let us continue. So another is Katong Kawelem Adrian Bonger. He mentioned that he believed in the casual link between crime and economic and social contribution. So he asserted that crime is a social in origin, a normal response to the prevailing culture conditions. An internal authority in criminology who classified crimes by motives as economic crimes, social, uh, sexual crimes, political crimes, vengeance as the principal motive. So, muna giling mo ni Bonger na ang, 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 ang criminal behavior ko no is, is divided into several classifications. So, na ako ni Uban, na makakomit of crime due to economic motives. Like for example, tungod sa kapubiyon, due to poverty, manang mga wat siya, example. Or due to poverty, mamaligya siya o drugs. So that is under the economic crime motives. Na apoy uban, na apoy uban, probably they're suffering from sexual deviant behavior. Okay, for example, gusto ko nila permi nga mangliit, Okay, or those nga naibog but then rejected or suffering from obsessive compulsion or obsession to a certain person. Walang nila nalang ripon, nilang sexually harassed, so on and so forth. Or probably suffering from a type of sexual deviant behavior nga ang gusto dyan nila is to have sexual intercourse with kuan children. So that is under... Uh, motivated by sexual urges, so sexual crime. Kana po mo commit o rebellion, kodita. These are all examples of political crimes. So mo nagiingon ni Banger nga, kita ko, ang kung ang tao ko na makakomit of crime, tungod ko na sa link between the economic and social motives. Question? Clarifications? Do you have? Nay, pangutana? Wala. Now let's proceed with Adolf Ketelet. So Adolf Ketelet mentioned that there is really a relationship between crime and sociological factors. Kung sa kolonia yung mga sociological factors, age, gender, poverty, and education. Wala yung giming nun. Yeah, in terms with, in terms with, uh, kuan, in terms with the gender, okay, or in terms, for example, na lang kanig, in terms of poverty, unsa may relation ingon si Adolf Catalet nga ang kapubrihon has is considered as a social factor for crime commission. Okay? Kana kuno uban mga what kay tungod sa kapubrihon. As what I have mentioned, 
poverty is not the cause of crime, but in some way, okay, it serves as a factor, okay, that triggers an individual or forces or pulls an individual to commit a crime. But it is not just the cause. Factor lang yun siya. Pariyo po ng education. Okay. Ngayon si Adolf Ketanet, there is a relationship between crime and education. Kung wala ko nung kayo iniskwilaan, meaning to say, you cannot get a decent job. Okay? If you do not know how to read and write and lili po ka good in business, like for example, pwede ko nung kang in some way or another, it pushes you to commit a crime. Another good example, nakainiskwilaan. Okay? But you are quite greedy. Okay? Datok na ka. But then again, ganahap siya kung mudato pag maayo. And then there are some politicians na may kadato na mayroon ka. Sakto po giniskwilaan. Pero makakumit siya po ng crime. What specific crime? Corruption. Okay? Questions? Clarifications? And in terms with the age, so there is a relationship you know, between crime and age. A very good example for that, those crimes that are committed by juveniles. We need to say crimes that are committed sa mga bata. Okay. Another, si Charles Coring, he studied on the mental characteristics of 3,000 convicts. And then he was able to uncover a significant relationship between crime and the condition he referred to as defective intelligence, which involves such traits as feeble-mindedness, insanity, and defective social instincts. He even believe that criminal characteristics are inherited and that people with such traits should not be allowed to reproduce. So in short, Charles Gorey, he mentioned nga, there are people kung nung makakumit ng crime due to intellectual uh, what's this uh, uh, defectiveness like mental retardation and mental illness. A very good example of mental illness is kanang insanity, kanang schizophrenia. These are all examples of mental illness. How about kanang mental retardation, mga feeble minded net? Meaning to say, ipanganak sila nga, hantod magulang sila, ilang edad is kapariyara of two years, ilahang brain or IQ is kapariyara of two years old, seven years old, twelve years old. That's mental retardation. Like one, so, excuse me ma'am. Yes. Like hallucination ma'am, mental illness, di ako ano? Yes, that is correct, correct. Mental illness. So hallucination, illusion, these are all examples. And even psychosis and neurosis, these are all examples of mental illness. Okay? So muna giingo ni Goring na ang uban makakumit of crime because nasa, you're suffering from mental disorder or sa iyahang term pa, defective intelligence. Niingon po siya, tawag niya giingon din, niingon siya nga, ang kuan kuno ang mental illness or Defective intelligence is something that can be inherited. So, muna, he proposed na dapat kung a person is has one this kind of mental illness or has mental, uh, is suffering from mental retardation, dapat pili sila, pwede sila magbinyo, but they will not be allowed to have children. That's the proposal of Charles Corey. Para ma-avoid na or ma-help na ang crimes that are related to defective intelligence according to Charles Corey. Question? Question? Are you still with me? Yes, ma'am. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you. So now let's proceed to the contribution of Albert Cohen. So he advocated that subcultural theory and even delinquency, okay, he includes the explanation of the prevalence, the origin, the process, the purpose as a factor of crime. So meaning to say, when you say subcultural theory, it means that the explanation why crime exists because you associate yourselves with different subcultures. Unsa nga subculture? 
criminal culture. Like association with a gang. Okay? Association with a gang. So, katong explanation na to sa Chicago School, a very good example for that is your, what's this, subculture theory. Kaya pag associate ko nimo sa mga mga organized group, sa criminal gangs, okay, mukon na siya yung makaingon. Nga nung you develop, you learn certain uh, criminal behavior. Another thing, Another thing, si Cohen's basic assumption is that most juvenile criminals are members of delinquent subculture. Okay? Subcultures are defined as subsystems and anti-system of society with their own attitude and norms that often contradict to the moral concepts of majority of the society. So, managin yung isa ni Cohen na... Kasagaran sa mga juvenile, delinquent, or child in conflict with the law, they are associated with the group. Whether the group is a formal gang or DNA, as long as they associate themselves and they adapt with the culture, mo lang ang may tabo na kumikit sila o friends. Question? Clarifications? Uy, pangutan na na mo. Question? Nagkasinabot ka or paspas kong ka-istorya? Okay na, ma'am. Okay na, ma'am. Okay na, ma'am. Basta kung nagipog mo, pangota na mo, paliwag ha? Okay. okay. Another... Okay. So another is, we do have Irving Goldman and Howard Becker's contribution. So they advocated the labeling theory. So the theory maintains that interaction caused them to behave criminally when one or both interpretation of meaning such interaction is wrong. Kasi buot pa sa buot ang labeling theory. Your labeling theory simply explains na ang tao adapts a certain behavior kung hindi mo silang i-label negatively. And if they will um, somehow accept na Uy, ingun ani dahi ko, kaya ingun man si ko ang ngayon, ani ko. So munang ang tao maka-experience of physical, uh, maka-experience of stigmata. So a very good example for that is like, for example, ingun mo sa inyong gini ka na, butol yun ka! That is not good. That is an example of a negative labeling. Kaya kung sikag ingun, butol yun ka, liwat yun ka. Di ba, kabatay mo ng mga common term? Kung di liwaman nagay kami gihingnan, but makadumos ka silinganan or other people saying that butol jud ka. Tadaw ma'am. Mo liwat kang kuan. Mm, so on and so forth. So in, in that give in that kind of negative branding, na ay uban nga mo na silay uban nga they try to adapt your brand. Like for example, diinan ka ni diinan ka ni Mr. A na butol ka. So ikaw puno ka. Ala butol di eh. So every time that you are given a certain task, may kadilit mo, kagutul, magutul. So you somehow, uh, ata na bang adapt sa ilang grant na gihatag mo? You believe na in anak ka. Okay? Napoy ubang tao with with very strong personality and good use of defense mechanism, na kung ino silang butol, they will prove to other people na sila butol. Same as ino sila, kiyak to ka. O na po yung ban, ay kiat na ikaw, sige magkiniat na lang po. Pero na po yung ban, they will prove that they are not kiat. So again, that the effect of the labeling or the negative labeling will depend on a certain, on the coping mechanism of a certain individual. But you need to remember that it's not good to do some negative labeling na na yung ban, dili in anak a strong of coping mechanism. Na yung ban, that they will somehow um, kalabang act in a way according to the label given to them. Okay? Questions? Clarifications? Questions? Clarifications? Uy, panguta na na mo. Muna ko na, muna ako and my children, isang maglagot ko, di ko may kong bulayagon, but I will just say, Hi! Kabuutan! Good name mo. Okay, para they will adapt the positive labeling. Yung isla ay magbunutan ko kayo sa mamabutan ko. Okay? So it's not good to grant a person negatively. Like, yung kapatid ko. Yung kapatid ko. 
Yes, yes ma'am. Good dapat din. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Like, it somehow demoralizes the person. So, kaya nga, you need to brand them. Pasok ko nila. Kaya nga, ka, di magugabogo. Kaya mo gunan nino. Inana ba? So, inani ka, grabe ang effect sa negative way. Yes, right? ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. okay. Like Anna, come again. Sorry. What's your question? Dili siya question ma'am like one ra ba based on what i see rapid ma'am like sa nowadays mga mga bata ra ma'am kay like kana bang umuang kasaba ng bata ma'am nga nagilak na bunalan pa jud or sa something adahan kang ilitak like mga bad words di ba like maadapt ya na nila ma'am sa regular pero maadapt na nila ma'am nga dawi nga yan sa nila pero like malikas ka ma'am maadapt na dayon sa bata ma'am Yes, yes, that is true. And the negative labeling ni mo is that ila na nag-i-embed sa ilang system that they will say, ay, inunani de ko, ay, buko de ko, ay, buluyagong de ko, di na lang ko mag-inutan, kay buluyagong de ko. Ngun, ana ba? So it's not really good to label a person negatively. May pa positive labeling. Kaya it will somehow boost the confidence of the person. Correct? Ganahan din mo inong butol. Ganahan din mo taong kiat. Ganahan din mo taong ubun sa pa ba? Pilig yun. Okay, so mo nang mo nang in relation to in relation to the what's this the contribution of kani 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 in relation to isa so kung hindi man gusto ka in relation ano bakit ayaw in relation to the contribution made by wait 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 Okay, made by Alexander and Stoke. In anak ka importante ang structures sa family. Okay, importante kayo that there that that the environment of an abode is in a way nga it somehow helps that the to it helps in developing the personality of the child properly. Pero tungo ingon ganin ni kaluyon. Kung sigik pamalika, sigik ibrand negatively ang bata. So may tabo, it does not help in the proper this development of a child. Kaya makerdi maguda nila along the way. That they would, the moment that they would have also their own family, kung namagui ani maguna siya, doa, na ilay maguklasi ang parenting, na ibang parents, na ilang parenting style is that it without knowing or knowing ba consciously or unconsciously done, ilang ma suhit tung giun sa sila pagpadako sila kini kana. Sige man silang patrabaho ko, sige man silang kasamaan, walay pakialam. Sige sila ginadapatan. So, napoy ubang parents nga, knowingly o unknowingly, ilan na din isuwit kung ilahang mga negative experiences based on the parental way or of disciplining sa ilahang parents. Muna ka na mga ginikanan na nakasuhan o uh, nakasuhan o child abuse, so on and so forth. They were also asked and then it was found out na Majority of those of, of these parents that have abused their children during their childhood, childhood was also a victim of child abuse. Okay. So may na puma masun ng child abuse. Kinsa? Hi. Okay, so there are different types of child abuse. Pudi physical, tapatan ka. Pudi sexual, maritikam. Emotional, pasakitan ka, ustuya. And of course, the neglect. Okay, ineglect sa imong ginikanan ang ilahang responsibility towards you. Okay, so these are the four major types of child abuses. Another thing is that, ingon po si Charles Darwin nga, Okay, ingon siya that man is an organism which is parasite and has animalistic behavior. Ganong animalistic kay kita lagi kono tungod lagi to piyang evolution theory lagi. Kakita ko no gagi kan ibo ang tawo kono ni ibo kono. Ikan sa ape ni himo tawo. That is according to Charles Darwin. Questions, clarifications. Question. Questions, clarifications, do you have? Ayaw ka ba na ka sa alas tres ba yung kudos? Okay. Questions, clarifications, do you have? 
Ma'am, ma'am. Wala? Ma'am, ma'am. Wala? No, ma'am. Okay. How about the others? How about the others? Do you have any questions? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. So again, before Tamuli, please make sure to write your full name and your section in the info messages. So now, may I ask, okay, may I ask Rabor, okay, to lead the closing prayer. Rabor? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you lead the prayer, Dom? Yes, Father. Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And let us deliver us from evil, Amen. Amen. And then we pray, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you very much. So again, uh, ayaw mo o. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Isa.